Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus Today August 1st 2020 Saturday of the 17th week in ordinary time Today the Holy Catholic Church celebrates the memorial of Saint Alphonsus Liguori Bishop and Doctor of the Church We must be grateful to the Lord for the safe journey we made through the month of July Now I welcome you all to this new month with a little prayer of blessing. Heavenly Father, thank you for this first day in the month of August and we entrust to you our life, dreams, worries, anxieties, crises in our relationship and finance, tensions about our future and our concerns about daily sustenance. We believe nothing evil will happen to us. We see your love at work in our life. Help us to make our life more meaningful in the month of August and remain grateful to you at the end of this month. All this we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today's first reading is taken from the book of prophet Jeremiah chapter 26 verses 11 to 16 and 24. We hear the innocent pleading of prophet for his life. The priest and the prophet said to the princes and to the people, This man deserves death. He has prophesied against the city as you have heard with your own ears. Jeremiah responded, It was the Lord who sent me to prophesy against this house and city all that you have heard. Now therefore reform your ways and your deeds listen to the voice of the Lord your God so that the Lord will repent of the evil with which he threatens to you as for me i am in your hands do with me whatever you think good and right but mark well if you put me to death it is innocent blood you bring on yourselves on this city and its citizens for in truth it was the lord who sent me to you to speak all these things for you to hear thereupon the princes and all the people said to the priests and the prophets this man does not deserve death it is in the name of the lord our god that he speaks to us When you stand for God, he will stand for you in the most painful moments in your life. The prophets of God never feared their enemies. Death for the sake of the Lord was the joyful experience for them. Jeremiah says, "As for me, I am in your hands. Do with me what you think good and right." He wants to accept death if it was a choice of the people, but he will not stop preaching the will of God. In the gospel of St Matthew chapter 14 verse 1 to 12 we see the last two prophet in the bible John the Baptist who stood for what is right now Herod has arrested John bound him and put him in prison on account of Herodias the wife of his brother Philip for John had said to him it is not lawful for you to have her on the occasion of his birthday celebration The daughter of Herodias performed a dance before the guest and delighted Herod so much that he sought to give her whatever she might ask for. Prompted by her mother, she said, "Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist." The king was distressed, but because of his oath and the guest who were present, he ordered that it be given, and he had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl who took it to her mother. John did not fear his death. He did proclaim what is just in front of the Lord. He did not compromise what he believed to be true. He was happy to give up his heart for the truth. The tragedy of Christian by name is that He is successful in keeping both Herod and John the Baptist in his heart. 
come to the evil ways of sin he is able to silence the john the baptist in him he can also act like herod just happy in hearing the word and forget having no impact upon his life things are worse when he is connected to unlawful relations yes herod took his brother's wife for himself was against the law of the lord every evil we hold on for us will provoke our consciousness leaving no peace in our life we pray lord give us true vision of life that we are able to remove from us all the evils that we hold for ourselves and may the mercy of god penetrate in our sinful life and transform us may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen